Thank you for tuning in for this word of encouragement. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and share this video with a friend. Enjoy. As we step into the new year, there are so many different emotions, there are so many different feelings, so many different outlooks by so many different people. There are those who are excited, there are those who are elated, really, really hopeful for the season that lies ahead, excited about the new opportunity, another chance to try again, another year where you can go after your dreams, your goals, and everything that you set out to do that you may have missed in the year that passed, or just any new goals that you have. There are so many who are excited, who are hopeful, and really looking forward to the season. And at the same time, there are those among us who are not so hopeful. There are those among us who are not so excited, who are not of high spirits. Perhaps it is because you lost a loved one in the season that passed, and as you stand in this new season, you are not really looking forward to doing life without them. You are not looking forward to doing this new year without them. Perhaps you had plans with somebody that you lost in the year that passed. There are so many things that can be said about that. And then there are other people who are standing at a place where they are just discouraged. Because year after year I've been trying. Year after year I've been pushing. Year after year I've been hopeful. I've been wondering. I've been waiting. And it doesn't seem like I have a way out. It doesn't seem like I am winning. Wherever you stand, whatever is happening, whatever your situation, whatever your case is, I have a word for this year as we step into this new season. And the word that I have for this year is stronger. I want you to get stronger. There are those among us who are strong, and I want you to get stronger. There are those among us who are weak, and I want you to get stronger. Wherever you stand, whatever the case is, whatever is going on in your life, my desire for you, my prayer for you in 2022 and beyond is that you would get stronger. And so that will be our word for the rest of 2022, that we may be stronger in our relationships. We may be stronger spiritually, emotionally, physically, socially, mentally, in every aspect of our lives so that every other part of our lives will fall into place. As we grow stronger, physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and mentally, our relationships will fall into place. Our finances, our families, and every other part of our lives and our careers will be better for it. Every single one of us can get stronger. Whether you feel like you are at the strongest you have ever been, or whether you feel like you are at the lowest place that you have ever been in, we can all get stronger. Now the tricky thing about this time of the year, the new year, is that everyone seems to, everyone seems to have a word. Everyone has a word. For some people it is the year of breakthrough, it is the year of overflow, it is the year of this and that, it is the year of more, of abundance, the harvest season, it's the year of so many different things. And I know that there are people who are discouraged and I know that there are people who get to a point where they stop trying because year after year I have believed that it is the year of A, B, C, X, Y, Z. I cannot tell you that it is the year of overflow. I cannot tell you that it is a year of harvest. I cannot tell you that it's a year of breakthrough for you. One thing that I can promise you is that whatever happens, however it happens, you will grow stronger. In every area of your life, in every aspect of your life, you will grow stronger in 2022 and even beyond. Our prayer, our goal, our aim should be that we would grow stronger, that we would become better, that even as you face challenges, I don't know what the year holds for you. I don't know what will happen for you. We have seen, especially over the past two years, how unpredictable life can be. But as unpredictable as life can be, the one thing that I can promise you is that you can always get stronger. You can always get better. Now this is subjective because every single person has a different version of, a, of their better self. But whatever happens, I can promise you, whatever that version is of your better self, you can get to that point. It could be a year of breakthrough. It could be the year 
where you get the one thing that you have been praying for for the past 10 years. It could be the year that your business finally falls into place. It could be the year that you finally find marriage. It could be the year that you finally have a child after years of trying. This could be the year that your family finally gets their breakthrough. It could be the year of many things. But I also know, and I, I think I would be doing you a disservice if we do not be real about the fact that it could also be the year where we lose. It could also be the year where we experience heartache, where we experience trauma, where we experience so many things that we do not want to experience. But whatever happens, I know that in every situation, you will get stronger. You will get better. You will come out of every situation as your better self. And so I want to share this word with you from Psalm, uh, Psalm 84. Psalm 84 from verse 5 to verse 7 says this. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, who have set their hearts on pilgrimage. As they pass through the valley of Baca, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rains also cover it with pools. They go from strength to strength till each appears before God in Zion. That is so beautiful. That is so beautiful. Uh, the psalmist writes to us and he, say, he says, he says, blessed are those whose strength is in you. Blessed are those whose strength is in the Lord, whose hearts are set on pilgrimage. To have your heart set on pilgrimage means that I know that where I am, I'm just passing through. I am merely just a pilgrim. I am passing through. I don't live here. I am not a permanent resident of this place that I am at right now. I know whatever it looks like, I am passing through. I'm going to a better place. I'm going to a place that is glorious. I'm going to a place where I belong. This is not where I belong. Blessed are those whose hearts are set on pilgrimage. These are the ones who are happy. That word blessed means happy. It means fortunate. The Amplified Version also says to be envy. It is a good place to be in, regardless of what is happening. It is a good place to be and to know that my strength is in the Lord. That's where my strength is. My strength was not in what I lost. And in 2022, my prayer is that we would, we would fix our perspective, that we would realize that our strength was not in the things that we lost, that we place it where it belongs, which is in the Lord. My strength is in the Lord. And so whatever happens, I know that I never have to find myself at a disadvantage. I can always be happy. I can always live life from a fortunate place. And then it goes on to say this. As they pass through the valley of Baca, the valley of Baca is a valley of weeping. That's a, that's a Hebrew word that means weeping. It is the valley of weeping. Man, some of, some of us might be there right now. Some of us might be in the valley of weeping right now. Some of us are yet to pass through the valley of weeping. Some of us may just now have come out of that valley of weeping. But I think we are all familiar. Anybody who has been, been around for some time is all too familiar with the valley of weeping. And I love how the psalmist writes it. And I love this language because it says, as they pass through, as they pass through, we are not here to stay. Whatever happens, we are not here to stay. We are not here to stay in the valley of weeping. And I love it because it says, as they pass through the valley of weeping, we don't, we don't have to be miserable all the way until we get to a better place. We don't have to be miserable all the way through until we get to a place that we so covet. We can turn this very valley into a, into a place of springs. Here's what it says. It says they make it a place of springs. We can turn the valley of weeping into a place of springs. Those whose strength is in the Lord can turn this valley of weeping, this valley of tears, 
this bitter place into a place of springs, a place that is bubbling with life, a place of refreshment. That's what can happen even in this valley of weeping. And then I love it because it goes on to say, verse 7, they go from strength to strength. They go from strength to strength till each appears before God in Zion. Friends, as long as we are on planet Earth, we're going to keep on getting better. We're going to keep on getting better. Yes, our hearts will be broken. Yes, there will be attacks on our lives. Some nights we will cry. Some days we will have questions. It'll be difficult. It'll be confusing. It'll be so sad sometimes. But we are going to keep on getting better. We're going to keep on growing. We're going to keep on growing stronger. Whatever happens, as long as we are here, the natural progression of a believer, the natural progression of a child of God, of a servant of God, is that I keep on going from strength to strength. I keep on growing stronger and stronger. Regardless of the seasons in my life, regardless of what is happening in my life, I am growing stronger. And so, yes, there will be heartbreak. Yes, there will be weeping. Yes, there will be loss. Yes, there will be unfortunate things that happen. However, regardless of what happens, regardless of what I go through, I know that the promise is that I'm going to keep on getting stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. Guess what? Until the day that I arrive to my ultimate destination, which is to be with God, friends, We're just passing through. We're just passing through. And I know the past two years, the past two years for most of us have been absolutely gut-wrenching. The past two years for most of us have been very, very difficult. It's been painful for a lot of people. There are those who have been weeping because they lost loved ones. There are those who have been weeping because they got let go when the pandemic started and they still haven't found the means to provide for their families. There is so much that can be said about it, but whatever it is, wherever we stand, whatever's going on, friends, I say, you and I can get stronger. And in 2022, we are gonna get stronger. Yes, we're gonna cry sometimes. Yes, sometimes we might be scared a little bit. Yes, sometimes things might not go our way. Yes, we will fail along the way. Yes, we might stumble along the way. Yes, we might fall along the way. But whatever happens, we're gonna keep on getting up. We're gonna fall seven times and get up another another time. We are gonna keep on going until such a time that we get to be with God. As long as we're here, we're going to keep on growing stronger. So I don't know what will happen in 2022 for you. I don't know what you are yet to face. I don't know. It could be the year of overflow. It could be the year of many blessings. It could be the year of breakthrough. But in the midst of all of that, there could be some weeping. There could be loss. It could be heartbreak. It could be unfortunate circumstances. There could be attacks on our lives. But whatever happens, We know and we believe that in 2022, we will get stronger until such a time that we appear before our Lord. This is our journey. This is our progression. There is nothing that will stand in the way of us becoming stronger day after day after day after day from one scenario to another one, one situation to another one. I will keep on getting stronger. May God bless you, and I wish you the very best. I want you to win in 2022, and I hope that this will be the year where you find many blessings, overflow, abundance, prosperity. I wish you health. I wish you you and your family well. And in all of this, what I wish for you more than anything is that, my friend, you will keep on growing stronger in 2022.
Thank you so much for watching this video. And listen, there is so much more on this page for you to enjoy. So much more inspiring and encouraging content. So go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure that you have liked this video. Leave a positive comment if you enjoyed it. And most importantly, hit the notification bell so that you stay updated on everything that comes from this platform. And what I want you to do right now is go ahead and share the video with a friend. Share the video with a family member, anybody that you can think about. Go ahead and share the video with them because I promise you it might be the very thing that they need to hear today.